Hi, welcome to Miller Guide. I recently had a conversation with Kent McLeod, who is the clinical pharmacist and owner of NutriChem Compounding Pharmacy and Clinic here in Ottawa. Kent has the opportunity to treat a wide range of clients and shared his thoughts with me on treating women and men with osteoporosis. In this segment, I asked Kent to comment on today's approach to treating women with low bone density and osteoporosis. One of the problems that's happening um, in, in bone health is it is the siloing concept, meaning, you know, we look at a woman has to make a decision about bones alone. And the women I see typically uh, aren't just worried about their bones, they're worried about their uh, um, quality, their mental health issues, for example. Uh, they're worried about sexual health issues, they're worried about quality of life issues around sleep. They'll have multiple, they'll have heart health issues coming in. Um, they'll have problems with weight gain, weight loss. Um, they'll have a multitude of issues that they're coming into. And, and the whole idea of bones is just a component of looking at everything together. So when often, you know, what we're seeing now, for example, is that um, with the hormone kind of um, confusion, is that a woman will have multiple issues that might respond to hormones like mood issues, depression, sexual health issues, sleep problems, um, and bone loss, but they'll be only given, they'll be given drugs like bifosinase just to deal with the bone health and maybe a sleep, you know, antidepressant for this and another drug for that. So they're trying to treat every drug, in the, you know, every condition individually, which winds up in polypharmacy, right, many drugs for all these different conditions, instead of looking at all these things together and prescribing something that's a little more, certainly more logical, more science orientated, and much more respectful of all the issues going on in one person's life than just like, you know, do I do, what do I use for bones or not? It's very confusing for a woman too, because she's getting, you know, these quick visits that she's dealing with a prescription for something that she's supposed to use forever, and she really doesn't feel that that with the conflicting information that that she has good decision making, uh, you know, stuff that she can make good decisions on these substances. 